TV's favorite friends kicked off their summer vacation on a musical note, hamming it up in the video version of their sitcom Smash theme song. I'll be there for you. And yes, that was Courtney Cox keeping the beat once again as she sang the praises of her TV pals while hosting last month's MTV Movie Awards. Now what else do you need to do? My sitcom is number two. Just Not in a band or anything. I'm not that good. But I'm good enough to play this beat. But for most of these friends, summertime means a chance to cash in their small screen stardom for a shot at the big box office. Hey, I don't need violence to enjoy a movie, just so long as there's a little nudity. No violence or nudity in series stud Matt LeBlanc's new feature film. The baseball buddy flick Ed finds Matt sporting a new look and a new furry friend. Well, on the freeway, he stuck his head out the window and slobbered in the wind like a dog. My hair is now, like, blonde, so that kind of makes people do a double take and they're not really sure. If they sit still long enough, they figure it out. We'll see who has the last laugh there, monkey boy. Look out, Matt, because your co-star Jennifer Aniston is headed for the big screen, too, playing an insecure actress in the romantic comedy Dream for an Insomniac. What's the line? Sorry. But making movies proved a little hazardous to the health of series heartthrob David Schwimmer, when he threw his back out playing softball while shooting his new black comedy, The Paul Bear. Someone has died and named me as his Paul Bear because we were best friends in high school, only I have absolutely no recollection of who the guy is. Hockey fanatic Matthew Perry put his acting career on ice, taking time out instead to film some promos for the NHL. Baseball cat, stop me on the street. What's going to happen to Russ Rachel? Everybody wants to know.